Slytherins, Severus Snape, and Death Day Party. What do they have in common? Hey, let's go check out the Hogwarts dungeons. Hey everybody, it's Dragonfly Sarah and I'm building JKR's Wicketing World of Harry Potter in Minecraft. Welcome to Series 5. In this series, we're actually going to build the castle exterior in its entirety. Um, and as we go, we're going to put in walls, lighting, and staircases interior. Just so that when we go back and decorate, we can do so in a nice creative manner. Um, like doing common rooms all at once and doing classrooms all at once. Um, and we already have those walls in place so we know exactly where they're going to go. Also, a little bit of a surprise in this series, we're going to sing the school song. I'm going to need your help with this. So I've already recorded line one. We're going to do one line at a time as we go through the series. And what I need from you is 12, oh, scratch that. I've already done one, 11 songs. So as you know, the school song at Hogwarts is sung to whatever melody pleases you. What I'd like to do is do melodies that please all of us. So I've already recorded the first line. You're going to hear it here shortly. But for the second through twelfth lines, I need to know what song you want me to use the melody of. Put them down in the comments below, okay? Let's jump into today. Our agenda is to review the build of the dungeons that we completed during two live streams. Hogwarts, 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 Hogwarts. As we head into the staircase leading down to the dungeon level, you see that off screen I did fill in the walls, make the staircase go the rest of the way up. Um, this was during... I do remember, I think, the first live stream um, that I was trying to put in these stairs. And it's a nice, smooth jaunt down. Now, Hagrid would have to duck his head because he's twice the height of a human. And these um, stairs are typically only about three blocks high rather than four. Um, about three and a half. So he would have to duck his head and... Uh, and I sort of crouched down to get down there. But I mean, seriously, how often is the Keeper of Keys and Grounds at Hogwarts going to have to go to the dungeons? Um, seeing as they don't actually have dungeons with... Key, teachers can handle that. We come this direction. The first place we come to is Potions class. Um, it, this would be the school cupboard, the, the student cupboard for the... Um, uh, potion ingredients and where we get uh, our Harry's copy of advanced potion making um, in book six. Then uh, back out into the hallway, the very next room is Snape's office. Now, Snape's office has Snape's desk and um, uh, a desk for uh, the student being punished and then this would be his living room of sorts his bedroom and then back here is his water closet um, uh, water closet washroom restroom toilet uh, I'm not really sure I think they call it toilet in the books um, but that's where he can have a, a, a shower and a, a, a toilet and all that and this is just another classroom down in the dungeon, another dungeon, if you will. And this is the Death Day dungeon, which I believe is numbered in the book. And when we get to decorating it or doing the corridors more likely, I will verify that canon information and we will make sure to label all of the doors correctly. Um, fun theory and those of you who have been to London might be able to uh, verify this for me more classrooms and there is a washroom uh, staff washroom uh, the, this is the sorry 
Give me a second here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Girls Lavatory. And I'll bet you anything I didn't label the boys either. This is another classroom. Yep, didn't label the boys either. So, boys lavatory. Um, my understanding is in London, the house numbers don't necessarily mean anything. Uh, we're coming up here to the painting that we um, put over the entrance to the Slytherin common room. So, I'll whoosh on through here and go down this extremely long hallway. Um, so the houses, the, the places had na have names, the older ones, and the younger ones are assigned a number when they're requested. So this is the girls' hallway. Um, the inside each of these is room for five beds and five chests um, that the, the girls would use. We'll, we'll figure out exactly how we're decorating all of that when we decorate the common rooms. Um, and then down here at the end, we have the uh, girls' lavatory. Um, just labeled bathroom. Um, so you could easily have uh, house 37 right next to house 2. Um, and th that's my understanding, having never visited London. Um, I just whooshed through the wall because, oh, geez, we still have bats down here. Um, I didn't feel like walking all the way around, but this is the boys' hallway. Um, so I, I'm not going to feel too terribly upset if I end up with, um, Dungeons, you know, 8, 7, 14, 23, and none of the numbers in between. Um, I'll find some way to work that out. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. We might have to add another hallway. Who knows? Did the look, I figured out where all of these bats are hanging out, coming from, um, by looking at my mini map. And look at what room I forgot to light up. So um, I'm just going to grab some torches and start spamming light in these rooms so that the bats won't cause too much lag. Um, being in peaceful mode, nothing but bats would... You know what? Um, I'll bet the girls' lavatory also isn't um, lit up. Eh, whatever. And uh, this is, of course, the Slytherin common room that we've gone through a couple of times now. Um, so, we've got the boys' hallway, the girls' hallway, and then out we go. Um, pressure plates on the floor down here at the end um, that uh, people without world edit would be able to get through the wall then after we get the redstone for that setup. <clears throat> of course, uh, if we only put paintings up where there are hidden passages, then they're not going to be very hidden passages, so we are going to have to put more paintings in the hallways. Um, this is just another classroom, um, and we've got uh, one more down here on the end finishing out the dungeon level. Next time, we're going to go ahead and review what we did in the kitchen during the live stream, and I'll give you a tour of the final, final project. Um, not going to be a whole lot to show on the outside of this one because, of course, the kitchen level is completely underground. Um, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, planetminecraft.com for a new download, and... Come back next week for some more awesome videos.